I want people to know that I wrote this story in the span of three to five days. It wasn't because I normally write as a hobby, but it was because it was real and personal. Whenever I finished a paragraph, a new memory popped up and it led to another, which brought me both tears and smiles. My piece is about the passing away of my mom and how it affected me. When I was done writing this piece, I felt this weight lifted from me because I was I never really got a chance to express that part of my life into writing. It's been so many years and I still remember how my mom was. She was beautiful both in and out. She was so caring, tender and industrious. Whenever I think of my mom, I remember her cooking in her restrooms while I was sitting on the side stool watching her, eating the delicious cereal she prepared for me. She was always working so hard and she was always busy because of her business, but she still made time within her busy schedule to spend time and play with me. I remember this moment when I was in nursery school during my award show. When I walked up to receive my award, I remember her telling me how proud she was of me and how much she loved me. Things were going well for us. She seemed happy most of the time. It was all good until she fell sick. I had to stay with my maternal grandma because my mom got admitted to the hospital. I was only allowed to visit her once or twice. Few weeks passed and she kept on getting sicker and sicker until she left. She left when I needed her the most, when I was only beginning to learn about her. When I was starting to develop the sense of having her in my life, why did I take her away from me? She was all I had, all I needed. If I had the ability to go back in time, I would change the way things went. I would make sure she was treated in the best hospital. Maybe she would have survived. Maybe she would still have a chance to live life to the fullest. Every night for a year, I would cry get on my knees and pray, hoping that one day she would come and take me back home to live with her because I missed her dearly. I was mad at her for leaving me at such a young age, the age where I needed my mother's love the most. I truly never understood what the words, I miss you, were until I reached for my mom's hands and it wasn't there. I had to finally accept the fact that she was gone, never coming back again. She didn't just leave me empty handed, she left me with what killed her a constant vulnerability to falling sick and stress. I stressed out a lot, and if things weren't working the way I planned it out, it made me worried. I also felt sick often. Time passed by and I had gotten used to all of it, gotten used to the feeling of not having her around, the feeling of seeing kids hanging out with their moms, girls my age getting their hair braided for school by their mothers, the feeling of not having a person to buy gifts and celebrate with on Mother's Day. These feelings I despised so much. It tore me down whenever I'd had the chance to. It made me feel unlucky and miserable. I wanted to get rid of it, of the feeling I felt, but how? How could I move on where everywhere I go I see her? I see her character in other people's parents and I wondered what it was like to have a mom whom you could share stories with, a mom who you could share your first period with and she would guide you. As I grew older, I learned a lot. I grew up with a grandmother who loved me dearly. I learned to move on, to not dwell on my misery, but to see the light even in the darkest room. I found ways to cope by writing. Writing helped me pour out my emotions and cope with stress. When I was younger, I would write on a sheet of paper, read what I wrote to my toys before throwing it away. This helped me move on from whatever I was angry or hurt about. Now I still write, but I write hoping that it doesn't get seen by anyone, I write to myself. Other ways I used to cope was reading, listening to music, playing the piano, praying, or playing basketball. When playing, all my worries disappeared. It was just me and the ball. Whenever I think of my mom now, I smile. I smile because I know that she is in a better place. I smile because I know that she is very proud of me, proud of how much I've accomplished, proud of how much I've pushed through. I still miss her. I always will. I might not have spent a lot of time with her, but I remember the memories we had. Those were the ones I cherished the most. 
It is sad when the person who you make memories with slowly becomes a memory. It isn't easy to think about it without tears falling from my eyes. Pain is such an unbearable feeling. It comes at the worst time and it attacks you with so much force, leaving you tired and restless. The pain of losing someone who you dearly love is the worst. It seems so unreal at first, so impossible and fafished. Losing a parent isn't easy. You have to be strong and grow faster than your peers. You have to put up with the constant pity and looks people give you. We never appreciate the value of someone until they leave us. I learned that when we lose a person, we must take time to grieve, take time to figure out what would help us cope and enjoy the things and people around us. I learned that instead of dwelling on the past, I should look forward to the future and live in the present, not completely forgetting the past, but remembering the good times. I love and appreciate my family, my friends, my community, and the people who impacted my life. Even in the dark, the smallest gleam of light brings hope. Hope that there is a light bigger than this gleam, and we shouldn't take that gleam of light for granted because it leads us to the big, bright light.